Andy. Steve. <laughs> Hi there, folks. Gary Richardson here with Tim Highland. I'm ready for another night of high school basketball action. Are you, I'll Tim? tell you what, I sure am, Garrett. Ever since our last broadcast, I've just been chomping at the bit to get back in the booth. As have I. We just heard a beautiful rendition of the of the national anthem sung by senior Kelsey Bird. That's brought a tear to my eye. Sean Lee will take the tip. Sean Lee wins the tip over Dahani White. Scott Dilly for three. Oh, no good. Rebounded by number four, Brett Fackenthal. <laughs> number 11, Bob Ditto. Dahani White in the lane. Elevates. Oh, what a nice turnaround J by Dahani White. Tell you what, we were watching this kid jump in pregame and he jumps out of the gym. He's, I'll tell you what, he's getting his head above the rim on layups. <laughs> Unreal, Garrett. Panthers setting up an offense. Ooh, Skip to Scotty Dilly. Eric Swenson with a quick move baseline. Foul Ooh, on the way he's up. Foul. <laughs> Eric Swenson will go to line for two shots. And he hits his first free throw. Getting the Panthers their first score of the night. Eric Swenson bangs his second free throw home. Looks like the parents of Pen Looks like the Panthers will come out with another full court press tonight, Garrett. No pressure, yeah. Number four, Brett Backenthal with a nifty right-handed layup. Sean Lee loses the hand on the ball inside. Gateway on the fast break. <laughs> Looks like we got and one play by number 23, Gregory Thompson. <laughs> Greg Thompson steps the line to try and make a three. It's a three and they'll be up seven to two. This is the first time this season the Panthers have trailed at any moment in any game. That's amazing. Into Sean Lee. Back to Cam Griffin over to Eric Swanson. Scott Daly passes out to Sean Lee. Eric Swenson for three. Got it! His first from the land of plenty tonight. That'll bring the Panthers within two. Some tight pressure by Eric Swenson. Sean Lee with a quick steal. And takes it strong. Woo! <laughs> Number 11, Bob Ditto entering the ball. Having a little trouble there. Ooh, tagged with the five second call. Booyah! <laughs> Eric Swenson into Sean Lee. Over to Cam Griffin, down low to Brandon Del Rey. 
Fighting hard for the rebound, number five, Dahani J White tagged with the foul. Tell you what, these past few games, they've really been utilizing Delray's strengths down low. Yes, they have. You got a big, strong guy down there, why don't you use him? Ooh, like an offensive Lee. foul on number 33, Sean Lee. Tagged with a tough offensive foul. <laughs> Bob Ditto and the ball. And about, looks like number two, Trey Pleasant bringing the ball up the court. Up top to Dehiney White, elevates, can't get the foot. little jump shot to go. Panthers will push the ball up the court, number 33, Sean Lee, Eric Swenson. Nice follow by Del Rey. Backdoor cut. Good for Gateway. Scores tied at nine. A nifty little backdoor cut by Trey. It's pleasant. Eric sweats it for three. Got it! He's hot out there, I'll tell you what. It's like he's seeing the game in infrared vision right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Tim. Trey Pleasant caught up. Quick steal by Scott Dilly. Has a fast break. Puts it in for two. You know what, I'm surprised he didn't dunk that right there, Garrett. I've seen him do it. Out to Trey Pleasant for three. Ooh, no good. Nice save by number 11. Bob Ditto. Bob Ditto. Tahani White can't convert on the lane. Eric Swenson will bring the ball up for the Panthers. <laughs> Looks like the Gateway Gators are shading over to Eric Swenson a little bit now that he has a hot hand. Looks like number 10, Pat Gators, Machine, waiting to check in again. like guppies on that last one. Jump ball forced by Sean Lee. As I was saying, number 10, Pat McShane checking into the game for Cameron Griffin. Bob Ditto entering the ball. Out to Trey Pleasant. Ooh, neat rebound by Brett Fackenthal. <laughs> Scotty Dilly in the corner. Got it! That's his first trifecta tonight. Timeout taken by the Gateway Gators. Panthers out to another strong start, although it's not as far apart as some of the games we've seen. I'd like to take a moment during this timeout to recognize the great sounds of DJ Matt Roma here tonight. I like this song. What's this one called? Oh, come on, Garrett. This is the electric slide. Oh, I forgot.
<laughs> Tag with another five second call. Booyah! <laughs> Eric Swenson, nifty move baseline. Gets it. <laughs> Tell you what, Brett Fagenthal is really struggling to inbound the ball. They gotta change something up here. Trey Pleasant with the ball up top. Ooh, he carried. Can't slip anything past these refs. They're on their ball tonight. Bob Petrini and Jeff Schock will check in the game for the Panthers. Both football players this year. Oh! Dahani White is hosting a block party underneath the basket, and I'll tell you what, everyone on St. Clair's roster has been cordially invited. We mentioned this kid earlier, he jumps so effortlessly and so high. <laughs> Sean Lee with a strong move down low. Ooh, Sean charged with a cheap foul there. He looks very upset about that call. I would be too. I don't think he got any part of the body there. Surprising call coming from our head referee, Tommy Vincent. Tom Vincent's sixth year in the league. First appearance by number 34 tonight, Manute Bowl. Corner Scott Dilly. Pat McShane for three. For three. Oh, strong lead on my Scotty go. Dilly. Can't get it to go. Scott Dilly with a fast break, takes it himself. Woo, nifty left hand. We have a foul called on number 10, Pat McShane. <laughs> New ball with the ball up top. Pressured by Eric Swenson. Ooh, quick crossover. Well, he's so quick out there in that number. Minute bull, man. He's like a nymph out there. Ooh, Dahani White can't get the right hand to go. Tell you what, we mentioned his jumping ability earlier, but you know the 62-inch vertical leap is just unbelievable. Dahani Jones at the line. Donnie White can't get the first free throw to go. St. Clair the ball, they can go two for one here if they want. Bob Petrini tripped up. New ball advancing the ball quickly. And he just gasses through the St. Clair defense, but can't convert. Nice pass by Bob Petrini. Blocking foul, and, and one. one. Balls on number three, Reed 
back, his first team third, Adeline Swenson. Donnie White with a strong rebound. This St. Clair pressure is really causing Gateway some problems early. This is a slop fest out here. At the end of one, our score, St. Clair 27, Gateway 12. I'm gonna take this chance to credit Matt Mellinger with these new seats we're sitting in. These are comfortable, they're these stadium seats. I feel like I'm sitting on a cloud right now, Garrett. This athletic director does great things, not only for the school, but us announcers as well. Brandon Murray checking into the game. Sean Lee with a quick three. Got it! It's two, triple Trey on Pleasant bringing the ball up. Tahani so White takes it strong and gets the foul. They called him for a block there. I'll tell you what, Ken Griffin looked to have position, stabbed. Uh, I disagree. I think they called that one on Brandon Delray. He caught him from the other side. Touche. Tahani White makes the first free throw. Tell you what, he used every part of the rim on that one, Garrett. <laughs> We're going to have to paint them soon. <laughs> two for two from the line. Cam Griffin advancing the ball quickly. Sean Lee now takes over at the point for the Panthers. Works around with Scott Dilley, back to Lee. Take Ooh, strong, strong take by Sean Lee. He'll go to the line for Dose. <laughs> Sean Lee cashes in his first one. Ball inbound by number three, Corey Smythe. St. Clair tagged with another foul. And with that one, they'll be in the one and one. Ball number 15, Cam Rubin, the second team center. That one's number 23, Brandon Hunter. Yeah. 
Greg Thompson steps the line and hits his first. He'll get another now. Griffin advances the ball. We'll take back over at the point. Looks like they're trying to work it down low to Sean Lee. I think that's a matchup they can just exploit him against Brett Fackenthal down there. They go exactly there. Oh, caught with an offensive Whoa. foul. I didn't see that one. Whoa, whoa. Some very questionable refereeing early on. Greg Thompson advances the ball, and one spectacular shot. I'm sure it's not the shot the coach wanted, but he'll take it. You know, that's one of those ones where you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Greg Thompson is hot yeah, from the free throw line He just makes it look so easy. 96% free throw shooter on the, on the season so far. Scott Tilly for three. Thompson's trying to take this game over. Brian Del Rey with a powerful rebound. He says to Dehani White, and I quote, get out of my house. Ooh, travel by Gregory Thomas. Thompson, I'm sorry. Number 34, Minute Bull checking back into the bowl game. Also checking into the game, number 35, Jeff Shock down low. He's a strong kid. I was practicing with him the other day. I was trying to knock him around with the mat. I just couldn't do it. I saw that, Gary. He was, he was turning you into packed meat. Eric Swenson with a quick shot. Strong rebound by Jeff Shock. And couldn't stuff that one in. It'd be a lot easier if he would just get up there and dunk that ball. Honey, why with a twirling, whirling shot? Can't get it to go. And Trey Pleasant tagged with a foul. Tell you what, he wasn't so pleasant with his defense right there. <laughs> you got that right. Number 10 checking in the game. I, we saw him playing the JV game just a couple minutes ago. Eric Swenson with a lightning quick move. Fouled by number five, Tahani White. <laughs> Eric Swenson, a career 89% free throw shooter. Can't miss from the line tonight. Tell you what, it's like tossing rocks in the ocean for him out there. Yeah. 
Jeff Shock with some nice health defense. Strong rebound by number 10, Phil Orbinson. There he is, I told you I saw him in the JV game. Jeff Shock. A little antsy with that pass, but Pat Duchesne managed to corral it. Oh, what a slashing move through the paint by Scott Dillon. He now has nine points tonight. Travel by number 34, Minute Bowl. Tell you when you feed it that quick, I don't know how you can call it travel. I wouldn't know what it looked like. It's like he's on roller skates out there. Got Terry wide up. Got it. Nice little pull up, Jay. You give him that much space, he will make you pay. This guy, this is a guy who'll shoot your eyes out all day long if you don't get a hand in his mouth. with another carry team. This gateway is not very consistent with their dribbling. I concur wholeheartedly. Griffin with the ball up top. Number 12, Howard Dean checks in for <laughs> Gateway. Jeff Shock down low. Oh, sweet. Just turn around, jump shot in the paint. Dean steps the line. Short on the first free throw. by Dehiney White. He skied up there, Garrett, I'll tell you what. He gobbled that one up like a hungry, hungry hippo gobbles a little marble. <laughs> Pat McShane dishes the fellow sophomore, Steve Mybreeze, but he's tagged in travel. Ralph Howard Dean advancing the ball. Tries to hit number four, Brett Fackendall, but Pat McShane saw it coming. It's like Elliot Ness shutting down a Chicago speakeasy out there. Number three, Smythe is all over Steve Meinbrich on that one. Easy call for the ref. He really mangled him out there. Steve 
Steve Mimbys for only his fourth free throw on the season. He hits it. Ball stolen away from the Hardy White by Bob Petrini. Gives it right back to Brett Packenfall. Tiny White shooting right over Scott Dilley. When you can jump that high, you can shoot over anyone. Eric Swenson for three. Just short. Gets his own rebound. Nice follow. Just long. Craig Thompson with a wild shot in the lane. Showtime. Oh, and he hits from the elbow. Bob Petrini back in the game for the Panthers. Looks like we have some sort of discrepancy between the officials and Coach Holzer and a few of the players. Well, I'll tell you this much, Garrett. It takes two to tango. <laughs> Here has to be some blood on the uniform. You're not allowed to play with that. Action gets underway after about a minute break. Down low to Brando, eh? They go right back to it. Ooh, tag with the travel. I just don't see what these refs are calling. I don't know what game these refs are watching. Well, it ain't this one.
Number 23, Greg Thompson brings up the ball and dishes to Howard Dean. Brad Frackenthal with the ball in the corner up top to Howard Dean. Here's the playmaker, Dahani White. Coach Holzer was very unhappy with the call. And the reps are really hearing it from this very large crowd we have tonight. How many have we got in attendance tonight, Garrett? Looks like at least 150. Sounds more like 150,000. Tahani White makes the score 28-41. Number 32, Patty O'Brien checks in the game. Patty O'Brien into the game, gets his first foul. Scott Dilley with a nice play to retain possession for the Panthers. And a nifty left hand layup. Oh, and they get number 20. Boy, that's the seventh carry called tonight on Gateway. Sean Lee spots up, good. Oh, nice shot by Sean Lee. Inbound to number 20, Frank Zoid. Okay, we can go two for one here. Three pointer, no good. Rebound by Eric Swenson, Sean Lee got the look. And he does. Oh! B E A U T for way in. An exciting end to our first half. We'll check back in with you in the second half. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with senior Chad Massesso, one of the leaders of our fan section up there. What's, what's the feeling in the stands tonight? What do you think? You know, I think it's just kind of a laid back. We don't want to give all our chance out tonight as it is an 18 point lead for these USC Panthers. I, I think we got this win and uh, I think it should be a fun second half, you know? Yeah. I noticed uh, some theme nights last year, you know, seniors dressing up in beach attire, greaser attire. You playing any of those this year? It's actually quite the co controversial issue. Uh, in fact, uh, some seniors think we should bring it back, some don't. It's a matter of tradition, you know. Some think it'd be copying last year, but, you know, we might have a beach night and a suit night. I don't think we'll take it to the extreme as last year, but I guess we'll see what happens, Garrett. Yeah. How, how would you compare this year's st student section to last year's? I mean, they're both very strong, granted. Uh, you know, I'd have to say for originality and, and showing up last year, I think this year's more vocal. I think we want to get some chance. We want to make sure the other team knows we're here. You know, it seems like actually some of your chants out there are affecting the gameplay of this other team. They're, they're getting rattled at the free throw line and stuff like that. Well, in fact, we did get a 12 is ugly chant, and he did, in fact, miss both his free throws. So, you know, there's no, uh, there's no proof, but I think psychologically we have a great advantage. And 
come see me in Mount Lebanon. We're going to bring our A games. Thanks, Chad Massessa. We'll, we'll catch up with you later in the year. Thank you very much, Garrett. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Hello, and welcome. I'd like to welcome everyone back to second half action. The Panthers leading 47 29. Gary, what do you think the major adjustments Gateway had to make coming into the second half were? They got to play with more intensity first off because they're getting pounded right now. <laughs> also, I think they're going to have to adjust this San Clair pressure because they can't seem to get the, anything done with the ball. 23 of the deep three to start the half Ooh, and he gets it. Got it! Panthers try to answer the first first action of the second half. Ball top Derek Swenson down low to Sean. Down low to Sean. Nice baseline take by Eric Swenson. <laughs> Gary gets a cheap one there. Before Brett Fackenthal with that last bucket for Gateway. Brando there with a nice up and under. Very Dr. J esque on that last basket by Del Rey. Number two, Trey Stone with the ball. Bob Dill throws up an Eric three. Some nifty ball handling skills. Scott Dilly for three. Got it! His third three pointer, 15 points so far in the night for Scott Dilly. Yeah, that's the perfect way to calm this little gateway team down. Ooh, a nice drive by Gary Howard. <laughs> Sean Lee just too quick for the defender there. Draws a foul. Tell you what, he left him in his dust right there. Cam Griffin, quick pass inside out to Sean Lee. Good. Athletic play by Cam Griffin to get the ball. The nice pass to Eric Swenson. Scott Dilly for three. Got it! The Panthers open up this second half with a nice 8 4 run. Johnny White, up and over and in. He can have his cake and eat it too. Pass by number 32, Scott Dilly. Ball covered by Cam Griffin. Nice hustle. Ooh, he broke his ankles on that one. Out to Scott Dilly.
can't hit the long three-pointer. Ooh, nice pass down low out of Eric Swenson with a strong left hand. I'll tell you what, Scott Dilley must have eyes on the back and sides of his head. Back to a cup and on two, Trey Stone. Scott Dilley says no with authority. Sean Lee for three. Can't convert. Brett Fackenthal pushing the ball up court. Brett Fackenthal and Trey Stone try a little give and go there. Not having it. It's like the old mailman to uh, Stockton. Yeah. Stockton to Malone. We'd be saying Fackenthal to Stone on that one. <laughs> Little lob inside to Dehani White. Short on the little jumper. Nice pass by Sean Lee and Juan Del Rey. Number 20, Bo Deaton checks in the game. Nice Gets his own by rebound, Delray. puts it in. <laughs> wow. Gets two points for the price of one on that one. <laughs> he trapped that one. Donnie White with the jump shot. No good. Rebounded by Sean Lee. Panthers pushing the ball up the court. Nice pass by Scott Dilley. And the hoop is still shaking from that block off the backboard by F William O'Donnell. Shane with a nice steal and basket. Number 12, Howard Dean advancing the ball. Sean Lee. Nice over the head pass to Brandel. Oh, with no foul regard foul. for human life. <laughs> Number five to Honey White. Fouled on the floor. Well, that Dahani White reminds me a little bit of a Bill Lambeer in the way he plays the game. He does. Sean Lee on the fast break. That's his free safety days on the football field paying off right there, Garrett. by Sean Lee. <laughs> 34 minute bowl trying to break past Sean Lee. Good hustle by Pat McShane. 
Number three, Craig Smythe on the shot, no good. Oh, Brandon Del Rey crashing the boards hard. Can't get it to go on the first attempt. And fouled on the floor. He's just patting his rebounding stats right there. That's now 12 tonight for him. His career high is 17 last year. Ooh, he could get that one this time. Jeff Shock enters back into the game. So they set up an isolation for number 10, Pat McShane. Strong rebound by Jeff Shock. Has it taken away, but he's fouled. <laughs> Bob Petrini will be taking it out from underneath the basket. No, oh, he won't. Scratch that. That's Pat McShane. <laughs> A great leaping ability by number five to Honey White on display right there. That inbounds play would have worked on anyone else except to Heine White. He's got those hops that we keep talking about. Of course, he does possess that 62-inch vertical leap ability here. You know, yeah, you know, you know. that is just amazing. Well, there's actually been some talk of Dehani White before going college and entering straight into the NBA draft. Is there really? any truth to that, Garrett? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, looks like they got Eric Swenson with a travel. Number 23, Gregory Hines taking it strong. Rebounded nicely by Sean Lee up to Eric Swenson. Strong finish in traffic. Another errant floater by number 23, Terrence McGee. <laughs> oh, shockwave rejected. I'll tell you what, he's feeling some shockwaves after that block. <laughs> this kid, Jeff Shock, has more nicknames than a centipede has legs. <laughs> Now, do centipedes really have legs, Garrett? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Havoc Shane for three. Oh, just shot with another strong rebound and puts it in. <laughs> Tell you what, he's on pace to set school records in rebounds and rebounds. <laughs> Bob Petrini fights hard for the rebound and pushes up court. Bob Petrini makes it one from the line. So we're in the school's new shoes this year. I like those. 
What are those? Them, those uh, Nikes? Those are the Nike Shocks. I think those are uh, Tremaine O'Neal's new shoe he just came out with this year. Really? Scott do it, some good pressure, almost gets that ball. Getting back to those shoes, rumor has they actually are electric and chargeable before the games. Number 10 with a nice pass to Patty O'Brien. Panthers need to get it. Shot off here, looks so. Gateway's got to put a shot up. Terrible mental lapse by number three, Greg Smythe. This team has got to know where the clock's at. Gateway trailing the Panthers 77-41. Tell you what, Garrett, it's never over till the fat woman sings. It appears they'll have another jump ball. This is unprecedented in high school basketball. No, no, they're taking it out of bounds. I don't know what game you're watching, Skip. Looks like the referees are having some sort of discussion at half court. And now we'll go over to the scorer's table. I've never seen anything like this. Quickly inbounded Sean Lee, makes a swift move inside. Very uncharacteristic miss inside by Sean Lee. Number 12, Howard Dean advancing the ball. Top to number three, Craig Smythe. Picks up his dribble way too far out. Inside to Patty O'Brien. Turns and makes a nice pass. Ooh, Brett Fackenthal for two. Lob inside to Del Rey. Kicks to the Can corner of the can three. Another turnover by Gateway. That's 18 on the night. Tell you what, the quad A uh, school record for turnovers is 31 in a game. By a single team, that is. Sean Lee to the Eric Swenson in the corner. Gets it back. Fouled on the way out. 
Looks like Sean Lee will be going to the line for two free throws. First free throw. Pushing the St. Clair lead to 35. Nice no look pass by David O'Toole. Sean Lee rips down his 14th board tonight. Got Dilly fouled on the way up. So this has turned into Hack Fest 04. <laughs> I've heard the motto, no easy baskets, but this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Scottilly hits a second free throw. Panthers, the Panthers approaching 80 for the second consecutive game. Just an unprecedented feat for this school. Down low to Craig Smythe. Dish to Brett Fackenthal. Oh, but he can't convert. Another rebound for Sean Lee. Good ball rotation. Once in for three. Got it. Howard Dean with the ball. Number three, Brandon Murray checking into the game for Eric Swenson. Number four, Brent Fackendall calling a timeout to avoid their third five second call of the night. Gary, you look like you broke your brand new chair here. What's going on? I don't know. It just sort of slid out from under me. You all right there? Did you tear any muscles or ligaments? No, I'm skin? fine. I'm just a little worried about the chair that Matt Mallinger just gave us tonight. Quick hands by Sean Lee. Mothers, cover your children's eyes. Oh, a nice finger roll. Some nice ball pressure. Patty O'Brien with the ball in the corner. Up to Howard Dean. Nice pull up shot by Howard Dean. 
Yeah, it's kind of a lost start these days, the mid-range jumper. Charmley with a nice pull-up. We have three new Panthers about to check in. Sophomore Pat McShane, seniors Jeff Shock and Bob Petrini. Number two, Trevor Englert has checked in for Gateway. <laughs> nice follow by number 10, Ernie Gregoris. Number 10, Pat McShane handling the point. Bob Petrini sees a lane, but gets it tipped away. Howard Dean with a nice left hand, can't get it to go. Oh, a nifty tip in. Shaw can't finish. Ten, and the ten for three. Oh, no good. Brandon Murray for three. Trini bringing the ball up. Steve Mindbress from the corner, no good. Panthers now lead the Gators 84 49. Ball stolen by Bob Petrini, pushing it up the floor. Kicks it out to Pat McShane for three. Good. Got it! Number 10, trying for a little too much on that one. Gets the ball tipped away. Almost the 24th turnover for this Gateway team tonight. Yikes. Number 14, Dane Conwell seeing his first action. I'll tell you what, watching that Dane Conwell in the JV game prior to this, this kid's really going places. And I know talent when I sees it. Manute Bull for three. Ooh, just short. Tell you what, he shoots like the Manute Bull of the NBA. Brandon Murray with a steal and a nice pass to Jeff Shock. Finishes this one. It goes out of bounds, Panthers ball. <laughs> Looks like it's time for the all sophomore lineup with Adam Anderson, Zach Gallagher, and Dave Shine checking into the game. Also, Dave McLean. <laughs> Dave 
Shawn with a low post move. Adam Anderson with the rebound. I've dubbed this kid Windex as he cleans the glass each and every day. He's got the no streak brand goat. Yes. As you know, we know like it, the streaks. Panthers look to finish this one out. Move to 3-0 on the season. Down low Dave Shine. Foul here if they want to win this game. Another rebound for Windex. <laughs> Windex has it swatted away though. A steal by Dave Shine. Pass forward to Dane Conwell. Dish to Windex. Ooh, oh, can't, get, can't get the buzzer beater to go. Signing off, this is Gary Richardson speaking for TJ Highland. Good night.